Good morning. My name is Bob Miller, and I serve on the stewardship ministry of Consistory. I extend a special welcome to everyone here this morning to St. John's United Church of Christ here in Orwigsburg. And if you are a visitor, we extend a special welcome to you here today. A few housekeeping items. Number one is that if you have a cell phone, please turn it off in order not to disturb the, the service, or at least put it on wiper. Also, there is, our, is a restroom to my left and to your right over at the corner of this large Sunday school room, and in addition, there are restrooms down on the first floor of the building. Uh, also, there will be Sunday school for the young folks uh, after the children's message and blessing this morning. Pastor will, of course, excuse the children when it's time to go there. Also, this Sunday after our church service will be our annual meeting, and we hope all of you might stay for the meeting. Our president has indicated it will not be long and it will be over long before the Eagles start to play football at 3 o'clock. <laughs> also, if you would like, between the church service and the start of the meeting, which would be a few minutes, there's coffee over here that Parish Life is uh, providing for you, so you might want to get a cup of coffee before the uh, annual meeting starts. Also, a reminder, we are not passing off from plates again because of COVID. There are offering plates placed in the narthex before you come into the church, and also over at the large Sunday school room just before coming into the church. Our special offerings this month are for the Schuylkill Haven, or Schuylkill, I should say, Disaster Relief Fund. Now, are there any other announcements at this time before I call on pastor? Okay, raise your hand. Susan has one. Actually, I have two. Parish Life will meet on February 7th, which is a Tuesday at 10 a.m., right across the street at Ruth Gaston's home. So we'll be sorting out some of the kitchen things that we still have, and you'll hear more about that after the 7th. And also, the two floral bouquets at the base of the steps we're left here by the family of Roxanne Hoffman, um, whose funeral was here on Monday. So if any of you would like one at home or know somebody that needs a, a boost, please take them after church because they will wilt and then they'll be gone. So please take them. Thank you, Susan. Any other announcements? Yes. Uh, yes, to, uh, to kind of complement what Bob said there. Um, immediately after the annual meeting uh, at Consistory, we're going to have a quick meeting in the library for reorganization and just a couple of quick votes for some recent issues. So Consistory members, please plan on sticking around after the meeting. Thank you. Any other announcements? If not, we'll call the pastor. I'm sure he does. I'll add a couple of things. One of the what you always hear from me every week so good to see all of them. It really is. Here at the Lord's house and the, the Holy Spirit with us today. Wednesday at 2 o'clock is our weekly Bible study. We'll be uh, James chapter 3 this week. It's about uh, controlling your tongue. The next time. I don't know none of us need that, but hey, it would be interesting. Well, it's a great discussion, and James is a real uh, provokes a lot of stuff. And then, uh, going backwards, tomorrow night is the monthly uh, Christian Ed Ministry meeting at 7 o'clock, and there's an option for Zoom that will go up tomorrow. So look for your email. All are excited. Are there any announcements? More? If not, let us prepare our hearts and minds for it. <laughs>
lifting up your joy. So we just sang at you. Let's see if there are any that you would like to share with us today. We also would like to hear you. Because it brings us joy. Is there a joy? Yes, ma'am. My husband would like you to know that it's 17 days that Fisher did catch this report for the film. <laughs> <laughs> This morning's first lesson is taken from the book of Micah, chapter 6, verses 1 through 8. Hear what the Lord says. Rise, plead your case before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, you mountains, the controversy of the Lord, and you enduring fountains of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he will contend with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? In what have I wearied you? Answer me, for I brought you up from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery, and I sent you before Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O oh, my people, remember now what King Balak of Moab devised, what Boab, son of Beor, answered him, and what happened from Shem the Gogah, that you may know the saving acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord, and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, 
with ten thousands of rivers of oil. Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? Here ends this morning's first reading. Our second reading this morning is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Here I just want to
other people. When I put it that way, I ought to get 30 people down.
went to be with the Lord on the 23rd, Bobby Warren and family. We offer our prayers and continue to for Jeff Goodale's brother, Wayne Berger, who has now been diagnosed with uh, a form of lymphoma and will be uh, receiving treatment for that. Wayne Surgery. We pray for a good period of rehab and recovery and uh, good days ahead. Uh, and prayers offered for Grace O'Donnell, who is dealing now uh, with cancer, and we pray for her today and the days ahead. And definitely others, many suffering from everything from COVID to flu to RSV and what I what I call unknown viruses, such as the one that some of us have had recently. Are there any additional prayer needs or prayer requests that should be expressed this morning? If so, feel free to raise a hand. Thank you for your presence in our lives. Thank you, Lord, that you were there even on those days where we get so engrossed in the troubles and the, the issues and the stuff that we deal with in life that we forget about. So, Lord, we're remembering you this morning. As so many have said over the years, where would we be without? God in our lives. So we thank you, Lord. Please guide our steps. Give us your wisdom. That we may be your people. And be traveling that process toward the blessing of a pure heart. Shall we pray for many this morning? There are many in our prayer list, and we hold them all up to you for prayers. And in addition, of course, there are some of us, perhaps, who have not mentioned or unmentioned prayer needs. And for the world we live in, where there is strife, where there is violence, where there is suffering, where there is war, may the peace of Christ working there. And may you work through us wherever possible. These prayers and many others offered in Jesus' name, who gave us this prayer as well. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And I'll ask you now to stand for our closing hymn.
Thank you.